Hello and welcome back to the New Creationist. Um, today we're going to be looking at the human chromosome 2 fusion and we're going to be looking at the site and also evidence that will um, basically negate the possibility of this being a fusion due to common descent. The um, gene in question that we're going to be looking at is DDX11L2 and the sequence for that gene uh, I've already got marked up here the um, first exon here in capital letters the second exon for this um, actually this is one of two transcripts uh, the second exon is right here and the third exon is right here there there is another shorter transcript also for this gene um, but in the first in the first intron is where you're going to find the uh, fusion the c2 fusion motif right here where you've got um, like tta ggg tta T G G okay it's close T T A G G G which is the um, telomeric sequence and down here you have the reverse uh, sequence T A A C C C um, so the head-to-head -head fusion is supposedly um, right here however when you look you'll find that this is actually a binding site for um, the DDX 11L2 uh, gene here in the first intron. So, of course, the first question is how in the world is uh, this fusion of two telomere, uh, telomere uh, sequences head to head part of um, an active binding site? for a highly expressed gene in the human genome um, of course the most obvious answer is that um, it it isn't a fusion but rather um, part of the original design um, for this particular gene and um, we're um, going to be uh, looking at a particular study done by <clears throat> uh, Jeff Tompkins and here on his blog designdna.org he basically goes over why the chromosome uh, 2 fusion is um, not the result of head-to-head uh, -head fusion of two um, ancestral um, primate chromosomes um, mostly because it, it's um, it appears to be and actually is the uh, originally designed uh, and functional uh, binding site or at least one of the three binding sites here in the study the actual study that he published um, he shows uh, in this drawing here you've got the exons, the third exon, the second exon, the first exon. Of course this is a reverse transcript indicated by the arrow and the transcription um, factor binding right here is um, basically in the alleged fusion site region. So the fusion site motif um, as opposed to being the uh, result of a head-to-head -head fusion of two chromosomes is actually uh, the design functional element of uh, transcription um, for the gene. Uh, there are other binding sites, one here um, and one here. So that pretty much uh, wraps it up. Um, the fusion site is actually a binding site for the DDX11L2 gene. Um, not really sure what else to make of this. Um, the fact that it wasn't mentioned could be because this is new information um, taken from the ENCODE project where 
the data is in support of design as opposed to evolution. Thanks, um, and we're going to be getting into this, I'm sure, in more detail. But um, for now, um, God bless and have a nice day.